Hey guys, this is Dano from Hidden Bigfoot Research Labs. I was putting away some soup and I wanted to show you all how to use a vacuum sealer. And a handy little device here. You can store your food a lot longer. And they make really fancy ones that will hold your rolls behind it. You can buy your vacuum bags individually. This is a special one that has a liquid block strip for when like doing steaks but it's a lot cheaper to buy it by the roll and I bought these at Walmart I'm out of my 8 inch rolls I just finished them off these are the ones that I buy the 11 inch rolls and I use these the most it's just me and my girlfriend so I can store a lot less in the little bags and not have to cook a full meal but I want to show you on these bags you see there's lines on the side all the way down it, these little lines here. Those are measurements that you can use. And what I do for counting or for making my bags is I'll count out one section, two sections, and then sometimes I do a half a section. But and then I'll fold it from line to line and I make sure that my bag is straight up and down with itself so that it's square and then I'll pull it tight and now you gotta leave extra to fit in the machine so if you need a bag from here to here you've gotta put that lip on for when you stick it into the vacuum sealer as you see there's this tray here and the burners here you really need it to be in the the vacuum chamber there but alright let me cut this real quick I'll have to put down the camera alright I got that cut now and now you see it's it's completely it's just a hollow bag right now to seal that off what you want to do and it's kinda hard to get it in there the first time it wants to shift around as you're closing it but you wanna place it so that that heating element is able to go all the way across the bottom of your bag and I'll, I, I'm a little OCD so I like it to be completely flush if I can and to seal these bags you run it one time and see now you can see the seam across the bottom now it's a bag alright I've had to set down the camera to do this see I've got it draped over so that it holds form and uh, there is a special trick where I could just seal it not vacuum it leave air inside of it and then uh, freeze it and then cut the seal open and then vacuum seal the block or sometimes I'll put um, bowls full of soup in the freezer freeze them put them in a vacuum seal bag and then block it or and then vacuum it out and store it for long term All right, I'm gonna try to do this where you can see I usually prefer to freeze it first it makes it so much easier to handle And see I'm holding it extra to make sure that it gets a nice good seal and let's see if it worked yeah we're good we're good we got a nice good bag of soup when I put it in the freezer I'm gonna lay it flat so that I can stack 
And uh, I'm going to try to see about making maybe a vacuum chamber out of this because this one has a vacuum jar attachment. You put, just push the button and you put the holes on it. But I don't have the holes. But alright guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Laters.